Jujutsu Kaisen seems to be one of the most complicated anime manga series at present, not only because of its power system, characters, and villains, but also its timelines have confused many people. Today, let's join Ackerman Recap to decode and systematically rearrange the entire timeline of Jujutsu Kaisen. Are you ready to explore this mysterious time journey? Let's start the adventure now. Yayoi period, around 300 BC to 300 AD. You might still remember Druv, a powerful sorcerer who lived through different eras and was reincarnated in the Culling Game. This is the era in which this character appeared. He has been reincarnated twice and is at least 1800 years old, a number that even surpasses Sukuna or Tengen. Druv once conquered Japan during the Civil War of Wa. Next, from 710 to 794 AD, was the period when Master Tengen appeared. During the Nara period, Tengen-sama was the first to appear to begin establishing the idea of forming an ethical system to protect powerless people. More accurately, this was also the predecessor of the current Jujutsu Sorcerer's Council. If Tengen hadn't stood up to lead the powerful against cursed spirits, perhaps the world of Jujutsu Kaisen would have collapsed right from its beginning. Moving a bit further to the Heian period, from 794 to 1185 AD. This is considered the Golden Age of Jujutsu Sorcerers, the level and skills of sorcerers during this time are considered the best in all periods to date. According to some credible rumors, at this time, techniques for domain expansion and, more importantly, simple domain, began to develop to an astonishing degree. Ashiya Sadatsuna was the one who created a domain for the weak to protect his servants from vicious cursed spirits and cursed users. From 1000 to 1018 AD, still in the Heian period. This is the time when the most powerful sorcerers tried to gather to seal the King of Curses. The result of the battle is well known, with the cursed king being split into twenty fingers to await the chance for rebirth. This is also the period when Kenjaku began the work of making contracts with veteran Jujutsu sorcerers to carry out a secret plan, later known as the Culling Game. Along with that, the big three sorcerer families were born with the three most powerful clans, Gojo, Kamo, and Zenin, from 1467 to 1618 AD. This is the period marking the first time Tengen performed assimilation with the star plasma vessels to extend the immortality of his body. During this time, there is some information suggesting that Kenjaku repeatedly caused trouble for the Jujutsu Sorcerer's Council, but in the end, he was defeated by the possessor of the Six Eyes, moving to the Edo period from 1603 to 1868 AD. This is the time when Jujutsu sorcerer gangs purged each other. Most notably, the Gojo clan leader had a 1v1 duel with the Zenin clan leader. The result is well known, with both of them going to hell in an evenly matched battle. This is also known as the period when Kashimo Hajime went looking for opponents, and the current Pikachu has not lost a single solo match. Coming to the Meiji period from 1868 to 1912 AD, this is known as the time when Kenjaku, in the body of Noritoshi Kamo, conducted experiments to create grotesque fetuses, also known as the death painting wombs at that time. A few decades after the fall of the Meiji era, around 1970 to 1980, Toji was born, causing the entire Zenin clan to struggle as the boy had not a drop of cursed energy or any jujutsu. Although compensated with superhuman physical abilities, the Zenin still considered it a stain on the family. That's why Toji later left home, gaining experience to also abandon his own child. A few years later, precisely in December 1989, a white-haired, white-eyebrowed boy was born named Gojo Satoru. This is the second entity to appear possessing both overpowered abilities, Limitless and Six Eyes. From birth, the bounty for Gojo's head on the black market has been at a sky-high price. However, with his overwhelming power, no one could touch the teacher from childhood to adulthood. A few months later, Ghetto Suguru was born with an equally special power, possessing the Cursed Spirit Manipulation Technique. This is also a milestone that later caused the two to become advancing partners on the path to becoming special grade Jujutsu Sorcerers. At the end of 1990, when Gojo was one year old, this was the time Toji and the teacher exchanged their first glances. It's unclear what Gojo did, but after that, Toji decided to leave home to chase after women. 
Fast forward 10 years later. Precisely on March 7, 2001, Yuta was born with a huge, almost infinite source of cursed energy. This is also the starting point for notable events at Tokyo Jujutsu High later on. About a year later, on January 20, 2002, the twins Maki and Mai were born. This marks a time of strong fluctuation in the Xenon clan, as they had two consecutive people born without possessing any cursed energy. Shortly after, in 2002-2003, the comedic trio was born, including Nobara, Megumi, and finally Yuji. This is the period marking an era of constant fluctuations in the Jujutsu sorcerer world at that time. Two years later, Gojo and Gato entered the golden age of Jujutsu High School. In a short time, they climbed to the special grade rank when they were just about 20 years old. This is also the period when Gato began to experience psychological changes as the work became repetitive and boring, to the point of meaninglessness. And 2006 was the beginning of incidents beyond the control of Jujutsu sorcerers. At the time, Tengen began to assimilate with the star plasma vessels to extend the agelessness of his body, Toji took action to eliminate Riko Amanai and also dealt with two special grade sorcerers. The outcome of the battle must be no surprise now that Gojo has awakened and gifted Toji a donut. However, this was also the time when Ghetto began to exhibit behaviors contrary to the ethics of a special grade sorcerer. In September 2007, Ghetto massacred an entire village where 112 people lived. Because of this, he was sentenced to death. Also, in this year, Ghetto had his first meeting with Yuki Tsukumo before deciding to go down the path of degradation. Ghetto asked Yuki many questions about the ego and goals of a special grade sorcerer, but perhaps Tsukumo's direction was different from the concept of sorcerers at that time. So Ghetto decided to take a different path and plunge into a chaotic life. Two years later, this was the period when Saori's family moved to Nobara's village. At the same time, Gojo met Megumi to guide the kid towards becoming a Jujutsu sorcerer. Also during this time, Toto met Yuki and was trained by the special grade sorcerer to become a strong, tall man. In 2010, Rika passed away, leaving Yuta with a powerful special grade cursed spirit. Like a tiger growing wings, shortly after, the kid was promoted to become one of the four special grade sorcerers. Six years later, Yuta, Maki, Togen, and Panda began their first years at Tokyo Jujutsu High. A year later, in order to steal Rika for himself, Ghetto initiated the night parade of a hundred demons to lure Yuta and take away the special grade cursed spirit. However, as everyone knows, he was thoroughly defeated by the power of love and the supreme skills of the special grade sorcerer. While dying hidden in a small alley, he was finished off by Gojo Satoru himself and ended up having his body taken over by Kenjaku. Fast forward to the summer of 2018, this was the beginning of the Jujutsu Kaisen series, when Yuji found the mysterious finger of the King of Curses. The kid swallowed the cursed object and became the vessel for Sukuna to carry out his rebirth plan. Although he was sentenced to death, Gojo said no. The teacher gave him two choices, die now or live a few more years and then die. Of course, no fool would choose to die immediately, so Yuji chose the second option, and later that decision sent teacher Gojo to the afterlife. Not long after, in July 2018, the comedic trio encountered their first special grade cursed spirit. With his strength, Yuji summoned the King of Curses and sent that guy to the afterlife. However, in exchange, Sukuna ripped out his own heart to prevent Yuji from regaining control of the body. To protect his friend, the kid had no choice but to regain control and eventually died in the arms of his friend. However, shortly after, through a binding vow with Sukuna, Yuji truly came back to life and began days of diligent training with teacher Gojo. That same year, Gojo marked his first combat appearance in the anime by beating Jogo to a pulp. If Hanami hadn't arrived in time, the volcano head would surely have been left with nothing but the volcano on his head. In September 2018, the Jujutsu Sorcerer Council organized an exchange between Tokyo and Kyoto Jujutsu High Schools. This was also the starting point for tense combats with special grade cursed spirits later on. At the end of September, the death paintings awakened. Unfortunately, Esso and Keichizu died at the hands of Nobara and Yuji not long after. It was also at this time that Gojo went to meet Yuta in Kenya to ask him to look after Yuji if anything unfortunate were to happen to himself. Shibuya Incident A month later, on October 30th, Kenjaku initiated the plan to seal Gojo with the prison realm. 
On that very day, many innocent people and jujutsu sorcerers sacrificed their lives in the terrible battle. However, the most notable thing was that Kenjaku succeeded in sealing Gojo in the prison realm cube. October 31st was a series of unwanted events. First, Toji was resurrected and thoroughly defeated Dagon. Afterwards, he also ended his own life because he didn't want to harm his son. At the same time, Maki, Nanami, and Naobito were severely injured by the volcano head. Megumi simultaneously summoned Maharaga, and shortly after, Nanami died at the hands of the special grade-cursed spirit Mahito. On the first day of November, Koder Kenjaku began to initiate the game he had prepared for thousands of years. The culling game came into effect. On November 8th, Yuta returned from abroad and received Yuji's death sentence. Culling Game Arc At the same time, Megumi was declared the head of the Zenin clan. Shortly after, Principal Yaga was executed by Gakuganji. November 9th was the time when Yuji's group met Tengen to learn about Kenjaku's plan. Right after that, Yuji and his friends successfully recruited the Japanese Buki in the campaign to sweep the entire culling game map created by Kenjaku. On November 12th, Maki imitated Itachi and massacred the entire Zenin clan, sparing only the young clan head who had just sat on the throne for seven days. Here are some notable details in this event. First, the mission of the Jujutsu Sorcerers was to find the sorcerer nicknamed Angel to dispel the technique controlling Gojo in the prison realm. When Yuta entered the Sendai colony, he demonstrated his true abilities by earning hundreds of points in a short time. On the other side, in Tokyo Colony No. 1, Megumi successfully expanded his territory and defeated the ancient sorcerer named Reggie. Yuji successfully recruited Higuruma to his side. Panda and Hikari in Tokyo Colony No. 2 also successfully defeated Kashimo and brought him to the side of justice. In the Sakurajima Colony, Maki was now facing Naoya in his cursed spirit form. On November 16th, Kenjaku entered the barrier erected by Tengen to defeat special grade sorcerer Yuki Tsukumo. Choso seized the opportunity to grab the back of the prison realm. At 12 noon on November 16th, Megumi now had 359 points from Yuta, and he added rule number 11, allowing the exchange of players from outside by consuming 100 points. At 3 p.m. on November 16th, Tsumiki or Yorozu entered the colony and received 100 points from Megumi. Then she added rule number 12, allowing free movement between barrier colonies. Shortly after, Sukuna appeared forcing Megumi to swallow his finger and finally took control of the body of the newly emerged Zenin clan head. After defeating both Maki and Yuji, the King of Curses continued to enter the Sendai colony, killing both Ryu and Yorozu, causing Megumi to fall into near despair. On November 18th, Kenjaku added rules number 13 and 14. When all players die except for Geto and Megumi, the culling game will end. On November 19th, Teacher Gojo returned when the angel destroyed the seal of the prison realm. Not long after escaping, Gojo found Sukuna to request a 1v1 solo match with the King of Curses. Shinjuku Showdown Arc, the climax of the series. Teacher Gojo passed away after just a few chapters of solo combat with the King of Curses. However, before Teacher Gojo's departure, the Jujutsu sorcerers had to discuss and train extensively. Most notably was the arrangement of the order in which the sorcerers would enter the field. Additionally, Yuji developed his special skills through a month of intense training with Kusakabe and others. For the later time points, as there are no updated dates, we will generalize them as the period of fighting in the Shinjuku battleground. After Teacher Gojo's sacrifice, Kashimo was the next to step onto the battlefield. As everyone knows, the 10,000 V electric current immediately went to the afterlife after just two chapters. At the same time Kashimo entered the field, on the other side, Kenjaku and comedian Takaba also stepped onto the battlefield. After joking around with Takaba, Kenjaku finally had his head taken by Yuta, according to a pre-planned strategy. During that time, Uraume also met a formidable opponent in Hakari. Honestly, I don't know how the battle unfolded, because after dozens of chapters passed, I only saw them talking without much actual fighting. Following Kashimo's descent into Hell, Higuruma and Yuji entered the battle with hopes of defeating Sukuna. However, Things seemed to not go as planned, and Higuruma lost his ability to fight after a few chapters. 
losing Higuruma, Yuta, who had just finished dealing with Kenjaku's brain, immediately set out towards the Shinjuku battleground to confront the bloodthirsty King of Curses. Not leaving Yuta alone, Maki, after seeing Yuta's domain collapse, rushed into Sukuna's heart. Not long before, the Jujutsu sorcerers outside the battle had a strategy meeting aimed at taking away as much of Sukuna's power as possible. Of course, Yuta and Maki's entry into the field was all part of the initial plan. One by one, Ino, Kusakabe, and Choso rushed into the battlefield to force the King of Curses into a corner. Teacher Kusakabe also had a few moments to shine before taking an X on his body. The Shinjuku death arena became more bustling than ever as both Miguel and Laruel had now joined. This duo plays a crucial role in tipping the advantage towards Yuji's group. Although Sukuna had performed two to three black flashes, his strength still couldn't recover. In contrast, after seizing the opportunity and giving Sukuna the first black flash, Yuji truly awakened and punched the King of Curses eight times in a row. But just as everyone was rejoicing at Yuji's dominance, the King of Curses' 180-degree turnaround signaled an insane battle about to unfold. The excitement and pleasure brought by the Black Flash helped the King of Curses fully recover his curse technique, and then he swept away everything on the Shinjuku battlefield. An explosion comparable to the destructive power of an atomic bomb was activated by Sukuna. The result afterwards is probably known to everyone, as Choso sacrificed himself trying to protect his younger brother. Not long after, Toto appeared with an improved technique on his hand. From then on, the two brothers continuously pushed the King of Curses to the very edge. And when the battle reached its climax, Yuta appeared with a body from Gojo. Domain expansion appeared. Malevolent Shrine once again had to face unlimited void. The battle between the two was very intense inside the domain, but the advantage still leaned towards Sukuna. However, Yuta then cast Hollow Technique, purple at a distance of less than 10 mer. Both of their domains were destroyed, Sukuna was slightly injured, while Yuta collapsed when his five-minute time limit expired. Yuji, in combination with Todo, continuously beat Sukuna to a pulp. At this moment, the angel appeared and used her extremely powerful technique. Whether Sukuna will be hit by this attack, let's all wait together for the next developments. Above is the entire timeline of Jujutsu Kaisen, according to our research. If there are any errors, please let us know in the comments below. If you find it interesting, remember to leave a like and a share to support us, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to not miss other exciting videos. Bye!